These sequential tail lights are dope, but I have a big problem. If I want them to do that cool sequential, I have to find a new way to send power to the reverse lights. That's because the power going into the reverse lights is already there, but now I have to give them ground in order to turn them on. So how do we take a positive signal and turn it into ground? We're gonna use a relay. Now, aside from this little five pin relay, we're also gonna grab a couple little female connectors, and then I'm gonna get one slightly bigger version of that same exact thing. And last, we need our wires. So for this, I'm gonna grab some black wire, and I'm gonna grab some white wire. Other than that, the only other tools I need are just these automatic wire strippers and a pair of crimpers. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna strip the end of this wire, and then I'm gonna strip the end of this wire, cut it, and then strip the ends of those wires as well. Okay, so now we are gonna take the two ends of our black wire, we are gonna twist them together, and we are just gonna crimp this slightly bigger size connector on there. And if we wanna make that a little bit easier, we just do a little pre-squeeze to kind of oval it out just a little bit there. And then we should be able to crimp it into that connector nice and easy. The people kindly over there at TikTok told me I was crimping things upside down, so I need to make sure that I do that properly. Okay, so that is our first crimp. Second crimp is gonna be a smaller little pink connector here. And now half the battle has already been won. We're just gonna plug these guys in at the spots I'm showing you right here. I'll make a little diagram you can download too. And that is our ground. That's where we're all good. Now, we just gotta connect our power. We're gonna strip both ends and we're gonna crimp on this little female connector here. And then last, I will explain what all of these things that we have created are actually doing. This one is just gonna go in to the third spot right there, and we are all set. All right, so with those connections, I'm gonna give this guy ground. And that, what you can actually hear is the physical sound of it changing from a power signal to a ground signal. Now let's actually use it. First, before we dive into that, I wanna show you the actual part that I'm working with. So this is the dual color little medallion that's totally sequential for turn signals. That's because this is going to a European customer and in Europe, they can't have red turn signals like my typical sequential GTR taillights have. So we're putting these little guys in there and they have all of the white connections bridged together. So there's no sequential feature, but all of the amber individually have little ground channels. And if I give them ground and I give the whole board power, then they will individually do the cool signals like I'll show you right now. But where that's a problem is that it already has power going into the board. So if the car sends this little thing power for the reverse lights, it doesn't change anything. It needs to send it ground. So that's why we're gonna convert the signal using the little relay that we just built. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when combined on these actual taillights. All right, let me show you the madness coming off of these things really quick. So we have our power and ground for just the reverse lights alone. If I power those things up, they look great. But the thing is, this is also a ghost sequencer that needs to have power at all times so that these things can work with the car on, with the car off, anytime. So we don't wanna have the power and ground connected to our reverse lights at all times, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the ground and instead we are gonna take the signal from the car and send it down this little white wire. Meanwhile, this black wire can go to the ground right there on the main vehicle harness, and we can just put a connector on here to go into this relay. Let's check a couple functions. First off, we've got our turn signals, and let's see how those things look when we have our parking lights on as well. Look pretty cool. All right, and then the big moment of truth with all this stuff is the reverse light. Hey. So you can hear that relay working, and we know that it's doing this. So we're set. And matter of fact, I think I can even try to do it. Hey, that's crazy. All right, so all of those things work. Our brake lights, got that F1 triple flash on there. So yeah, this was a pretty cool success, I'd say. Whew. Okay, so let's go talk about this relay. I wanna show you, I wanna make sure that you know all of these little pins, what they do, so this is not confusing, and you don't even need a diagram later. Gonna unplug everything really quick, and we'll break it down piece by piece. Okay, so most importantly, this little dude on the bottom here is, it's marked with the number 30. 
So 30 is gonna be whatever goes into this. This is typically what you would have connected to like a fused wire going to your battery. In this case, it's just going to our ground wire. And then that ground wire is also plugging in right here, which is usually where I ground all of my relays anyway. And the interesting thing is that whatever comes into 30 comes straight back out this little middle pin, which is 87A. So let's just plug this in and just know that whatever is going into the bottom pin, that's also what's coming out the middle. Now this wire, our white one, whenever it gets 12 volts, it's going to make this thing switch inside. And now whatever was coming from 30 and coming out of 87A in the middle is now going to start coming out of this top one, which is pin 87. So that's why pin 87 is what we plugged into the taillight ground for the reverse lights. If we just want to do a stupid little test to check continuity, we can see that if we connect the black wire right here and we connect to this top pin, nothing happens. But when we touch this middle guy, it basically is telling me that this is the same wire. It's coming in the bottom and it's coming out the relay. So now when I connect the ground wire and the power wire, you can hear it switch. And what we can do is check continuity now between the black wire and the top. So now it's changed without that it's not connected anymore. Now, if you're interested in all of that cool sequential stuff, I am doing a bunch of free stuff for my group, Sequential Squad, sign up below. It's in the description. I'm gonna put it in the comment section as well. I'm also gonna link up another video about relays right here. So definitely go check that out.